Welcome back, Warriors. It's me, Linda B. Well, 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 all that money and still don't have anything left. Is someone broke now? <laughs> Before we get into this, don't forget to like this video, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, watch it to the end. Now, this has been a long, hard fought battle. Well, long for Donald J. Trump, you know, Kamala Harris came in at the last minute after Jim Crow Joe couldn't, you know, have a good debate performance on June 27th. But in any event, she got a lot of money, like a billion dollars or something like that, like all these hundreds of millions of dollars. But now her campaign is broke. Let's check it out. We learned two things about Kamala this election. She's good at raising money and she's good at blowing it. But money can't buy you elections, especially when you spend it like she did. She raked in more than a billion dollars and is somehow now in debt. The Washington Examiner dug through her financial statements and gave us a good clue why. Kamala's campaign was getting whacked like a pinata while D.C. leeches hoovered up all the cash. She spent over $50 million on payroll. Trump's campaign spent less than 10. Another 12 million went to consultants and 20 million went to their little concerts with Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Christina Aguilera, John Bon Jovi, remember him? They even had to cancel a performance by Alanis Morissette because they were running low on cash. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> Campaign insiders are mad at the bosses for wasting donor money on concerts instead of ads about, you know, the economy. Quote, they said they were spending to zero. I guess they overshot zero. Ads would have gone a lot further than the pricey celebrity endorsements. One campaign source said people were concerned about their own financial issues, not Oprah telling them America won't exist. But it worked out nicely for Oprah. She got her friend Kamala to pay her a million dollars to interview her in September, a million dollars. Now, if she thought she was saving democracy, she should have done it for free. Kamala scared donors by calling Trump a dictator, got a billion bucks, then just gave it to her friends and blew the rest on being a diva. Kamala went on a podcast, remember Call Her Daddy? But she didn't want to go to their studio in L.A. So she made the host fly to D.C. and used campaign cash to build a fake set in a hotel room. She spent more than 100 grand to build it. That set, see it? Two chairs, a coffee table, and a bookshelf. That's six figures. Now, we looked at the set. We probably could have done it for around six grand. <laughs> That's without labor. But where'd the rest of the money go? We don't know. So she's still trying to soak folks for cash. 24 hours after the election, on Wednesday, Democrats got a text from the campaign. Urgent. We need help. Donate now. Help with what? You lost. If this is how she's going to spend her donors' dollars, imagine what she would have done with our taxes. My thoughts exactly. If this is how she goes through money, $1 billion, more than $1 billion, $20 million on celebrities. Okay, celebrities don't work, okay? They are already rich. So they're not going to tell me who to vote for. It, they did that mess in 2016 where Beyonce actually performed and did all this gyrating her and Jay-Z doing all this for Hillary and she still did not win. Okay, celebrity endorsements do not work. And look at these celebrities' lives anyway. There's, some of them are connected to P. Diddy. They have drug addictions and all kinds of problems. And they get married multiple times and their personal life is a mess. So if they can't even get their personal life together, who are we to listen to them anyway, especially about politics? I'm, I'm not having it. And I don't care what celebrity they brought out. They brought out Obama chastising black men. That did not work. You got to know us. Prayer warriors been praying and nothing they did will work anyway. Well, that's what happened. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But now we know who would have been better for the economy anyway. Donald J. Trump spent $10 million. And you see how much she spent? They don't have any money. But you know, Donald Trump is good at trolling people. You know, he trolled her with the whole McDonald's thing. She said she did the fries and then he, he did the fries. And you know, the whole garbage thing when Joe Biden said garbage and then he dressed up as a garbage worker and even came to a rally dressed up like that. 
But check out this latest troll from Donald J. Trump towards the Kamala Harris campaign. Guys, it says, <laughs> this is Donald J. Trump on Truth Social. It says, I am very surprised that the Democrats who fought a hard and valiant fight in the 2020 presidential election, raising a record amount of money, didn't have lots of money left over. Now they are being squeezed by vendors and others. Whatever we can do to help them during this difficult period, I would strongly recommend we as a party and for the sake of desperately needing unity do. We have a lot of money left over in that our biggest asset in the campaign was earned media and that doesn't cost very much. Make America great again. <laughs> Donald J. Trump, are you just trolling, trolling, trolling? And <laughs> that that is funny to me. That is hilarious. I mean, she was given all this money, all that money and nothing left over. And you heard from Jesse Waters. They're sending out text messages for donations. Donate. Like he said, donate what the election's over. We lost. You know, the blue side lost. You know, the blue haired freaks, according to Mark Robinson. And then, you know, unfortunately, he lost that whole thing. I hope they get that straightened out. But yeah, this is how she would have handled taxpayer money. And she would have been in charge of way more money than a billion dollars. So if she couldn't handle a billion dollars, what makes us think she could handle the U.S. economy? Oh, yeah. She's the reason behind it being a mess in the first place. Oh, you know, the deciding vote when it came to the Inflation Reduction Act and the American Rescue Plan. Mm -hmm. She's personally responsible. We are so glad God spared us from that health. Oh, I am so glad. Oh, I am just so happy. You guys, I have been feeling exceptionally happy all week, just really ecstatic. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining and listening to me. <laughs> I am on my way still to 100K subscribers, guys. Remember to like my video. Go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, hit the notification bell. Also, you can email me, chat with me, Linda B at gmail.com. I am on X, Instagram, and TikTok as chat with me, Linda B, and also Patreon, chat with me, Linda B. See all the information in the description. You all be blessed. Love God, your families, these United States of America, and March on Warriors.